Good evening, girls and boys. I'm James, and I will be teaching you guys about Aruzma Studio. Now, if you're not familiar with Aruzma Studio, basically, it is our new program we are using in yearbook, and it recognizes photos and plays a video behind each photo that we tell it to. Now, there are a couple things you need to know about before you start building your auras, which are the finished products of the Aruzma program and that is trigger images. Trigger images themselves are the images that we will select that will trigger the videos basically. Simple as that. The overlays are the actual videos that will play after the trigger image is captured. The channel is where they will all be stored and fi findable to the curious user. It's basically like a folder, a folder if you will. The auras are the finished product, which is with the trigger image overlay and channel all in one, composed together and easy for the viewer to watch. So, let's jump right into it. Trigger images. Trigger images, for, to my understanding, can be any photo that is a JPEG and possibly a PNG. Don't quote me on that. PNG. I mean JPEG. So, in order to upload a trigger image, you would just go to Add. You name it, like say, test coordinates. That is something I'm unfamiliar with, so I cannot explain that to you. Trigger image. So, for testing purposes, we'll upload this one. Basically, you just browse it, upload it, and save it. As you can see, this is a character from a game I play and you would close it. Now it will refresh every time you upload a trigger image and if you don't see your trigger image on the first page there is a little next page icon you can scroll and there it is. This is my trigger image and just in case I'm going to delete this so I don't forget later. Okay. So the trigger image um, they can be any like I said, they can be JPEGs, uh, PNGs possibly. I don't know. You'll have to test that on your own. I'm going based off of what I know from this year, and hopefully you guys can elaborate for next year. Uh, the difference is there are differences here. A good trigger image will be very distinct. It will look very unique to the whole page itself, like this. If you have a bunch of pictures that are just like popping everywhere with colors and stuff, and then you have a trigger image thrown in there, there will be some consequences because the video will have a hard time playing. You'll have to play with the different angles and stuff like that. So this right here is a good trigger image because there's only like a couple base colors into it. And there's nothing too extravagant. So the video should have no time playing. Now, an idea of a bad trigger photo would be right here. This could easily be mixed up as a candid's page or a candid video or whatever you're doing because it has this overlay on it which has like this grainier Instagram filter on it. And then you have these different colors. You have the BHS, so guy wearing a jersey, a red wing shirt, these bright blue sweatpants in the floor. The camera might have a hard time recognizing this and it might play a different video for this because this could be strikingly similar to any other picture. So make sure your tr trigger pictures are clear and very distinct from each other. So there are no overlapping videos. Alright, next we have the overlays. Overlays are basically the video that will be played after the trigger image is viewed. So, um, in the overlay section you can see we have last year's previous videos. So, um, a few tips here are make each aura the respectable length. I've never went over about a minute 30, and I only went a minute 30 on very special events such as the homecoming queen, or the coming home king, or maybe a pep rally or two. Um, try to keep them respectable length, like I said. If you're doing choir, don't show me a 30 second video of someone having a solo. Show me a wide variety of different singers and members of the choir. Same goes for band, you know, have a variety of selections. Um, pep assemblies 
are very popular within the yearbook, make sure you get every event and you try to squeeze as much time as you can into uh, each video. Uh, for more static sports like cross country or golf, you know, those are not very exciting, try to make them as informative as you can. Maybe not so more exciting, but informative. So for cross country, we set up tripods and we just got the kids running in uh, certain areas. That's the best we could do. So, you know, don't try to make these uh, super off the wall. You're going to win an uh, Oscar because it was so good. But try to make them interesting on the least. And you don't want anyone to fall asleep while watching them. Um, for the video technicalities, the videos I've experienced, I've only uploaded them in, as MP4s. And if you don't know how to upload as an MP4, I will sh there will be another tutorial on this channel on how to uh, export videos in Adobe Premiere. Um, there is a video size uh, limit. I have not hit that. If you make the video an MP4 and it does not go over a minute 30, I promise you, you will not hit that limit. So it's pretty much the same as uploading a trigger image. Oh, see the max size is 100 megabytes. Like I said, once you hit about a minute, you're not going to go over that. Um, you just name it, browse, I don't really have any test videos to upload, but you just put it in. And once you hit save, uh, you will see like a little tab down in this area, it'll say processing, let that go, and then the actual video will pop up down here in this area. Now once that's done, that means the video is done, and you can go on to the next step, which I will show you guys. The channel. The channel essentially is the folder for where all your auras will go. Um, the channel, to my knowledge, has no limit to how many auras can go into it. And at first, at the beginning of the year, I did separate each uh, aura to its own channel. But I came to the conclusion, thanks to a friend, that you can put multiple auras into one channel and make it easier. Because if you didn't know, in order to get uh, the auras to play for like the device you're on, you have to follow it. Now, if everyone wanted to follow something, it would be a pain for them to go through, you know, people who bought the yearbook, it would be a pain for them to go through and follow each and individual uh, activity that was on the page. So, instead, we made a very big channel, and I titled it, respectively, Belleville High School, and we placed all the auras inside of there, so all they would have to do is follow that one channel, and they were set to watch any of the auras to their viewing pleasure. Um, to make a channel, it's very simple. Um, also, mind you, if this channel is still here, when you guys begin editing, leave it. Because if you delete it, then that means all the memories from the previous yearbook will be eliminated. And we don't want that, not do we? So, you go to Add Channel. You know, you name it, like VHS, maybe that could be the next year's one. 3D. Description you know, if you want to put one. Private. Put them on public because that way anyone can search them and follow it. And the image, the trigger, the channel does require an image before you can save it. Um, I gave us previous years, I put the old Belleville High School sign on it, but you can put anything like a tiger or a paw print, anything to your liking. Um, making the channel is pretty simple and that's all there is to it. Alrighty, now that you have your trigger images set, your overlay set, and your channel created, you are now ready to make your forced aura. Ah. Okay, so you want to click on this little triangle doodad here. And of course, you can see all the previous years. Like I said, if I don't know what we're going to do from here, but if you still see these here when you uh, start your next year's aura, don't delete them or I swear I'll hunt you down. Alrighty, so to make your first aura, or you know, probably your third, you hit add. Now under here it gets very technical and everything is very important. So follow along closely. You'll see this little drop box down here. It's called aura details. Click it down, and of course you'll name it. We'll name it test. For your trigger image, uh, this is where you would select your trigger image. Just drag it in like that. 
and then channel. You should only have one option of uh, Bevel High School unless you named your new channel for that year, VHS or something different. Time restrictions. I'm not familiar with this and I did not touch it last year, so I will not advise you to do so. Lastly, you would do add overlay. And from there, you will see all these little doodads here. But click down here on this drop box and place your order. Of course, then your right panel will show you a uh, brief transparency overview of what it'll look like. It's basically telling you like it's playing the video and it has the trigger image behind it. So therefore, it is basically set. And when you're done, you'll just hit save. And since everything is all set, that means the Aura is published. And then, to see if it's published, you would have to go on your phone with the Aura and uh, go to the camera part and hold it over the picture and see if your video plays. If it does not, watch this tutorial again and make sure you followed everything correctly. Do know that dimensions do play a big role in the picture. If you have the picture at a very high scale and the video is very tiny, Please bear in mind that the picture will try to stretch the video out to match the actual picture on the page. So be mindful of that. I noticed something I came across this year is that the pages, the pictures were so much bigger than what they were on the computer. So try to scale your videos pretty high, um, a high resolution, so they don't come out either blurry or they take a lot of camera angles to actually get them to play. Also, I briefly touched on this. If you do use the same account that I am using, um, please be mindful and do not delete the previous auras or the previous channel. Make up your own names, do something different, but please do not overlap them. Because if you do, you really are messing up with the uh, other yearbook, and that will probably cause problems down the road. So please don't do that. Um, whoever is in charge of this, uh, I'll leave my email in the description of the video. I hosted this last year. If you have any questions, please leave them. Leave me an email, um, and I will get back to you. Um, I have some advice I would give you, whoever is doing this, or if it's been done as a class, do not procrastinate. If you miss a video uh, deadline, you're pretty much screwed. You're not going to get another chance to go back in time and record that event. Um, so be up on that, and it's not that much of a hard job if you know what you're doing. Um, I wish I knew that from the start. So, you guys have a fun year and make an awesome yearbook. I'm rooting for you guys. I'll be in and check it out at some point during the year. Love you guys and rock out.